It seems like every family has one. You know that person that's better at finding things. Mother's glasses, agates on the beach, pennies on the sidewalk. Yeah, I'm that guy. My name's Henry Huntsworth Mendelson. You can call me Hunter. I help people find things. Let me show you a few things I look at when hunting for the Rose Festival's hidden treasures and see if they can help you get started in your first hunt. We're going to look at clue number one for this very first of the four special mini hunts focusing on the individual counties in the Rose Festival treasure hunt territory. There are six clues for each hunt. This first one is Multnomah County. Let's look at the first clue. Looking for something new to do, a reason to go outside, a treasure has what you need. Let fun be your guide. You may crack some clues by searching using just your computer keys, and though research can be fruitful, you'll need footwork amongst the trees. This is kind of poetic, isn't it? That makes it fun to read, but not all hunts are written that way. Okay, let's do some hunter tips. Now, most hunts will start with a broad reference to something or some place and narrow it down geographically to the location of the treasure. But some hunts will want to set you up on what you're looking for first before leading you down that deer path. All Rose Festival treasures are hidden in public places, most outdoors and easy to get to. Here are some helpful tools to consider. Using the internet is great not only for researching keywords, but also digging deep into historical records. Also great are library reference books, local government record websites, really anywhere you can dig into local history of a person or a place. You can find all kinds of maps online, but I gotta say that getting your hands on some good old folding maps is still a great way to learn about the area. Each preceding clue limits the scope of the hunt. Today it's Multnomah County. We know the greater area and what that means is, and this is important, from this point on the following clues will only refer to things places or people that are part of this county. The traditional Rose Festival treasure hunt covers a five county area, but the process is the same once you know the territory. So let's go back over the keywords. The first sentence on this clue is pushing us outside and fun may figure into that. What other words do we see? Fruitful? Hmm. Does footwork have a meaning I should think about? Is the word trees important? What could that mean? Okay, so you have a few tools to help you get started. Keywords, historical and geographical reference books, public records resources, the internet, maps, and feet on the ground. I hope you find it helpful, but remember the best way to find the treasure is to get out there and look. I'm Hunter, and I'll be back later to check in on how the hunt's going. If you have any questions about the Rose Festival treasure hunt, go to rosefestival.org or write me at info at rosefestival.org and ask for Hunter.